Events, SGIA 2014, Las Vegas. Welcome to the AIT equipment booth. We're booth 4567. I'm going to give you a quick overview of what we're going to have in the booth this year. Let me take that back. What we have in the booth this year. Though the majority of our heat presses are large platen presses and or rotary heat presses, we do have an, an offering, a product line of workhorse, um, high production, uh, smaller platen presses. This is a 16 by 20 pull-out drawer pneumatic series machine, R1350 we call it. And then we have what we call our 1550 PA. So that has two bottom plates and then the heated top platen uh, oscillates back and forth activated with uh, a foot pedal. So both of those machines are on display. This is the 16 by 20 inch model as well, but uh, it's also offered in a 20 by 24 inch. Within our heat press line, we've got the 7460 Sport. So this machine with a 14 inch diameter oil heated drum is made to print uh, roll to roll, uh, cup parts, and a roll of print paper feeding cup parts. So here you can see the unwinding table station. The very bottom roll will actually be a rewind for used sublimation paper. The middle roll that you see is print paper, unprinted. That'll unwind up and over this idler roll and then down the table parts will be placed on top. Machines outfitted with a roll of fabric in the event we want to run roll to roll. Just a quick uh, look at the operational panel. You've got set point, um, actual temperature. We have a uh, line speed, so in this case 1.6 meters per minute. And then secondly, we've got a yardage counter. So you can activate a yardage counter and figure out how much um, material you have run. Here's the settings for um, the rewind on the transfer paper for accumulating the used transfer paper. And take a quick look around on the back side. Cut parts are fed in down the table, they circle the machine, and then here on the bottom you can see an exit conveyor. Printed parts come out the bottom and either fall into a box or pickup operator. On the back we've got a roll of blotting tissue that we're going to use and etc. Back around to the front of the booth, the other rotary machine that we're showing is our 6572, so 72 inch print width. This one is a sport model, so it's made with an input conveyor to put in uh, cut parts. Um, this particular machine oil drum again is a 24 inch diameter uh, drum and has new touchscreen panel. Here's all the uh, settings, or excuse me, all the um, controls for the unwinds and rewinds. And I don't know if you can see or not, but this has a chrome drum. So we put a chrome finish on this equipment for uh, ease of use and easy cleaning. So back to the 6572, just a quick walk around. There's the unwind station. The uh, second one under the, or the first one right under the conveyor is for the print paper, and the bottom one is to rewind the used print paper. Down in this section, we're going to have a split of uh, the printed part will fall onto a conveyor um, and go out the back. And then the used print paper, of course, is going to rewind in the front where I just showed you. Come around to take a quick look at the back. So exiting out the back is a variable speed 
um, exit conveyor. Parts will come out on that conveyor. And we have the station here for the blotting tissue. And this machine will also run um, roll to roll in the event that you wanted to do that as well. Here's the control station for the unwinds and rewinds. They're all variable speed drive with their own independent uh, drive plus uh, pneumatic air clutches. Okay, so that's it from the AIT booth at the SGI show. Hope that we'll see you guys here. Show is from October 22nd, Wednesday until Friday the 24th.